everybody. Uh, my name's Craig Moore and I want to talk to you today about anxiety and depression and panic disorder. I, uh, I grew up with panic disorder and anxiety and depression. I got it really early in life. I was probably, well I've had trouble since uh, elementary school pretty much, but it really presented itself maybe sixth, seventh grade. Uh, that's when I was more or less diagnosed with it. But um, I went through therapy. I went to different therapists. I went to uh, biofeedback, relaxation techniques. Uh, they tried me on different medications and nothing really ever seemed to help. But the reason I'm making this video is uh, I just wanted to let those people out there that are going through this know that I understand what you're going through. Been there and done that. Uh, I've pretty much had every symptom that comes with it. I mean, you feel completely tired all the time. You're anxious and nervous all the time. Uh, feel like you're losing your mind. Um, nobody understands. And unless you've been through it and felt what it does to you, you can't really understand. But uh, I wanted to share my story with you today and uh, hopefully it'll give a, give a little hope to those that are feeling pretty down. I hope this reaches people and, and helps people. But anyway, when I was very young, sixth, seventh grade, I started having anxiety and it took them a while to figure out exactly what it was and I was just anxious and nervous all the time um, had a lot of stomach trouble because when you stay anxious it affects your stomach keeps your tore, stomach tore up all the time and stuff and uh, I just I couldn't find joy in anything anymore I, I, I had this up till about five years ago I guess it was um, but I've had it pretty much through my whole life and I just felt helpless and hopeless I mean nobody really understood what was going on uh, the symptoms are really horrible I mean you are you'll hyperventilate you sweat you uh, shake I mean and it's just a constant torment more or less uh, you stay completely worn out all the time you don't feel like doing anything can't find joy in anything anymore uh, I love to hunt and just be in the woods and and I just I had no desire anymore to do that it wasn't fun for me anymore uh, I felt like a burden I mean I I, I didn't want to leave the house it was hard for me to go anywhere and do anything and it was just it's miserable uh, and nobody can really understand well wh you know why are you what are you scared of uh, why don't you want to leave the house well, why don't you ever feel like doing anything and I mean it really begins to weigh on your mind and makes you feel worthless and, and I went through a lot of that just feeling like I was completely useless to my family I felt more of a burden than anything uh, and people don't understand it and that's that's what makes it even worse I mean your family loves you they try to help you and and mine did they they tried to see that I had the health care I needed they tried to do everything they could to get me better but nothing ever really seemed to fix it until about five years ago I had more or less reached rock bottom I, I didn't want to live anymore I felt like I, it, I was just a waste of air. I mean, literally. And I didn't want to be here anymore. I, I felt worthless, useless, you name it. I uh, felt like I was crazy. You're not crazy. Most people that have these disorders actually are very intelligent. But I'm here to tell you that there's, there's relief for this. Um, it's not through medication or therapy. 
Uh, not saying medication's a bad thing. I know it does help in certain situations. It's usually a low serotonin level, but there's natural ways to combat that if you need a little help in that area. You can go have a test to see if it's low, and then there's an herb called St. John's Wort that will actually raise that level, and it will help you. But the way that I got rid of this, and the way I suggest that anyone that's going through this deal with it, is give your life to the Lord. I was healed about five years ago. It was a progressive thing. It wasn't instant, although I did get very much relief almost instantly. But folks, if you don't know the Lord as your Savior, uh, you don't have to put up with this anymore. You don't have to live in fear. It says in First Timothy, Second Timothy 1 7, God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now that right there tells you what you're experiencing is not from God, and you don't have to put up with it. Um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. That's Second Corinthians. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I'm not sure of the exact verse, but more or less, there, there's things out there, guys, that we can't see. Uh, there's a spiritual world, and the devil's out there to steal, kill, and destroy. He, he wants to ruin you. Okay, if, if he can push you to do something foolish, hurt yourself, commit suicide, then he, he's won. But most people don't even know that that's the enemy they're dealing with. Uh, if you don't know your enemy, you can't hardly fight back. Well, I'm here to tell you that you need God to get through this. Uh, he healed me, and I have peace now. I can go where I want, do what I want. I don't live in fear anymore because God says I don't have to. And if you trust and believe in Jesus Christ, you don't have to be scared of anything anymore. Uh, I held off for so long, and I realized right before uh, I came to the Lord, he, he was drawing me. I, I, I had the urge to go to church. I'd been a few times, and that's actually who I went to to, to talk about this. Uh, I had gotten to the point that I wanted to end my life. And thank God that he stepped in when he did. Uh, the pastor talked to me, and... Uh, I realized what I had to do and uh, what I'd been holding out on because I would always think, well, I've done so much wrong and, and you know, I'm still imperfect. Well, guess what? We all are and you'll never be good enough. Nobody would. This is a free gift from Jesus Christ. He came here and died on the cross so that we could be saved. And what I'm asking you folks to do, if you hear my voice, I don't think it's by chance. I don't think it's coincidence. You're hearing it for a reason. And I hope that you'll listen to me when I tell you that God can take this away from you. This is completely reversible. You don't have to suffer anymore. You don't have to be in misery and torment and fear all the time. Because... God says you don't have to do that. You do not have to live in fear. God did not give us the spirit of fear. Uh, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, I urge you to pick up the Bible and go to the New Testament and read about what Jesus done for you. He came here. He was perfect, free from sin, and he took all our sin upon himself. He done paid the price. And all we have to do is accept him and believe in him. Uh, and he will come into our hearts and he'll free us from all this so if you're not saved today I urge you to learn about Jesus if you already don't know about him and seek him give your heart to him because he can take all of this away and understand that the adversary you're dealing with has got you in bondage you are chained and shackled with fear and we don't have to live like that. God can break every chain. So my prayer for you today is that you seek God, give your life to God, 
and he will release these this bondage from you and I don't think you're hearing this by chance so I believe that God is working through me to speak to you people out there because I've been through it and I know uh, so I, I'm telling you the way out and I, I hope you take it and don't wait until you think you know well I still do this and do that or I drink or I you know cuss and go on but if you wait until you think you're good enough it ain't never gonna happen don't wait God's gonna help you with all that and it's a free gift folks and his blood is sufficient it'll cover any sin and that is the way that you're gonna get relief and peace and I truly do have peace now and it was through Jesus Christ so that's my hope for you all I hope you all enjoyed the video I hope this reaches somebody and I want you all to know that I understand and that you don't have to live like this anymore and don't give up I almost did but the Lord took care of it and he can take care of it for you so please Give your life to the Lord. Go talk to your pastor. Pick up the Bible. There's power in his name, and we don't have to live like this anymore. So thanks for watching, and God bless you. See you next time.